I did a video on smart meters this week. First one I've done for a while uh, where I received a, an email from somebody that's a little bit confused as to whether they're good or whether they're bad. And, you know, we get so much in the media, including my eight seconds of fame on Channel 5. If you're one that's not sure which way to go with smart meters, then subscribe to the channel. Have a look around what I've said about them and what other people have commented on. And, you know, form your own opinion. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, looking and deciding what you think's best for you. I can only tell you what I think. I received an email from somebody with a comment that they wanted to make uh, on uh, this particular YouTube video. And for some reason, it kept getting removed. I'm seeing a lot of this lately. So if you've got anything important to say uh, regarding any subject that I cover and you find it's not going on YouTube, by all means, drop me an email and I'll do what I'm doing now and read it out. So if I put it on the screen, we'll go through it. I tried leaving this comment on your recent smart meter video, but like quite a few of my comments on YouTube, it was removed. I'm heavily ghost banned on YouTube across many channels. as happening with people a lot. I think it depends on the subject and what you say about it, uh, you know, and what the algorithm thinks. I'm currently being badgered by OVO to have a smart meter fitted. And they say that my meter certificate has expired. I've heard this one before. I've had emails about it as well. I asked about this certificate and they replied saying that my meter was certified for 20 years. And this expired in March 2023. They suggest that because this certificate has expired, my meter may be faulty and not reliable for accurate readings. OVO also claim that standard meters are no longer manufactured in the UK. Again, I've heard that. So my replacement has to be a smart meter. They also added that government regulations mean only smart meters need to replace older meters. I replied saying that although some government regulations exist, regulation only applies to energy companies and not the customers. I also added this starting report from just before X, uh, Christmas by the BBC. So there's a link there. This highlights over 3 million smart meters uh, in use are currently faulty and problematic. I've no reason to think that my meter is not accurate or working properly, but I prefer what I've got rather than risking taking a new meter with widespread problems. OVO hasn't replied as of yet, but I'm pretty sure that you and your audience would be interested in this information about how unreliable smart meters really are. Keep up your good work, Andy. Thank you very much. I intend to. Well, there you go. There's another one. Uh, somebody with issues with smart meters now. When I've had this conversation, when they did actually attempt to replace my meter, and I said, oh, I'll have one of the same. Sorry, can't do that, they said. And they said that they are no longer manufactured. I know that in some cases they do still have a very limited stock of them, but I think no more are actually being made. I'm very willing to be corrected on that. If I'm wrong, by all means, drop me an email with these smart meters. If you end up down that road, you can have them installed in what they uh, called dumb mode but in my view what stops them from switching them on later on uh you know I, i've dug my heels in so far but with government targets which aren't being met i can see them getting a bit more mob handed with this as time goes on let me know what you think about that the rest of this video more importantly this person's comment it's very important that we all club together and give our opinion i'll do a readout on this at some point if you want to see a video uh, about smart meters apart from this one, you do that one there. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.